am a, a Jewish believer in Christ. Um, I have a, a large Jewish family here in Colombia. Well, we have roots that go back to the Ukraine and Russia. My father's mother, um, Esther, came from Odessa. I remember she would tell stories that during pogroms, that's when the soldiers would um, burn the houses and the villages of Jewish, Jewish families in that area. And she would uh, put a cross in their window to let the soldiers know that uh, they're not Jewish. They would have to do that to save their lives. Because of the, the fear in that area, her mother sent her and her sister on a boat to New York City to live with an aunt. She was 12 years old when she came over. I didn't know much about Jesus growing up. I remember in grade school um, being told that I killed Jesus. And I remember going home and asking my mother what that meant. And we had to talk about it. My mother used to tell us that we weren't allowed to live in the part, in certain parts of Colombia where there were Christian communities. I went to AC Flower High School, uh, then went to the University of North Carolina, Chapel Hill, and studied journalism. I was very, um, very academic, um, and that was my life. Uh, that I succeeding academically was the main goal of my life, and there was an emptiness in that. And that was my goal. I was going to go to Washington and work my way up. And um, I did go to Washington and studied and worked till 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock at night. I, uh, I was a writer and a reporter and covered environmental news. I worked for newsletters, newspapers. And my sister actually was a Messianic Jew before I was, because I was starting to head in the direction of um, New Age spirituality. But one day, um, I saw a book on her kitchen table. It was called uh, When Skeptics Ask. And I took it home and read it, and it just opened my eyes to things I didn't know. Because I had always thought that Christianity was so different was the complete opposite of Judaism. I thought we were totally diametrically opposed. I ended up uh, in the hospital with a um, with a medical problem, and I was feeling very um, vulnerable and spiritually empty and I turned on the TV channel, and that was the first time I'd ever seen the 700 Club. I was just sucked into the program, and at the end of the program, I said the, the prayer, um, the, the prayer that I surrendered my life to Jesus, and I did not expect anything to happen. I just thought it would just be another day. <laughs> Uh, spiritually seeking and learning and um, instead my heart changed when I woke up the next day it was I could tell my heart was completely Praise different the Lord, oh my soul. Praise the Lord. I told my mother and my husband I said Praise you're not gonna believe what happened I had an experience with Jesus, and um, he came into my heart, and he changed me. And 
They didn't know what I was talking about. They were totally baffled. What could have happened to me? But, you know, I quickly healed and I left the hospital and everywhere I went, I was telling people, I had an experience with Jesus. I believe in Jesus now. I do remember, you know, going there and visiting her, and I do remember seeing, like, the TV. I can picture that. Um, I definitely didn't know the scope of how severe, you know, her blood clock was. Um, so that was something I didn't learn until later. So it's interesting to hear, you know, how that was healed and how she found Jesus then. That was when I got the opportunity to come to the church, and I would go to um, Jewish Sunday school in the morning, and then we would start going to the 423 service in the afternoon. So, you know, it was great that she allowed us to really make our own choice and follow our own beliefs. So we would do both. And I just felt more, you know, a presence here at the church. And that's why I decided to get baptized. And I told one of my friends uh, who I had gardened with at Lonnie B. Nelson Elementary School, Marsha Bradbury, I had told her about my experience. She was very excited and said, oh, we've been praying for you. And she invited me to come to Northeast Presbyterian Church and I joined the prayer groups and started learning all about Jesus and the Bible. So I wanted to learn more about this Jesus. I really didn't know much about him. I just knew that he had changed my heart. And I later learned that what I experienced was a born again experience. The way to um, approach Jews is really to um, to do it in love. I mean, I've have had uh, friends who were just so taken aback when um, someone would come up to them and say, "You know, you're going to hell." They don't want to have anything to do with Christianity um, or Christians. It's an us versus them mentality and that, I mean, to really follow Christ is, is not to um, kill and maim and, um, and to persecute.